Hi guys, welcome back. Wish you all a very happy new year. This is my first video in 2021. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, web view and JavaScript interactions in Flutter. Let's have a look at uh, what I have. Uh, I have a small app developed which shows like how we can do some uh, JavaScript interactions on a web view. Okay, I have this app in which I have loaded a custom HTML page with some uh, JavaScript functions inside. Uh, let's see how uh, the, the JavaScript func functions can interact with the Flutter code and vice versa. So I have two couple of buttons here. So when I click this call Flutter, what it does is there will be a function executor from the JavaScript uh, which can be interpreted inside the Flutter code. So when I click call flutter, you can see I get a log here, like it makes a call to the native flutter code and call flutter too. It's, it's another event, which again comes here. So this is from the JavaScript to the native flutter code. And here you can see this floating button plus is uh, the flutter uh, button. So if I click on this, you can, I'm going to uh, invoke a function inside the web view. So if I click this, you can see the image got changed. So this is what we are going to discuss here, like how you can uh, interact back and forth between uh, web view and the, the Flutter uh, code. Okay, so here we are going to use uh, this uh, web view underscore Flutter uh, plugin and uh, and i'm going to load an html page uh, from the assets so this is just to have uh, a control uh, with me so i can add my own function so this is just a uh, pretty simple html page with some like title and couple of uh, buttons so the main functions that you need to think about is uh, one is this one change image path you could see like the image got changed this is one function then the call flutter 2 uh, which post a message uh, to the flutter code and call flutter like two functions and uh, then these are all basically on click and uh, button creation and yeah, that's all with this HTML page. So I have added in an assets web folder and you should go to the pub spec YAML and add that into the assets area. So, so as uh, Flutter knows like where to pick the content from. Okay. So now coming back to the uh, code. So here I have created a simple web view stateful widget. So here we are going to create a web view component. So I have this function called build web view in which we are going to create a web view. This is from the Flutter itself or the plugin. So it takes in an initial URL. So like if you are going to load a web page straightforward, you can just put in the, uh, the URL here like google.com or the site you want to load so here i don't want to load a site i want to load contents from my local folder or local html so i just keep the initial url as blank then you have few callbacks so this this will be called on web view created will be called when the web view gets created and you get a controller which is kind of a handle to your web view so i uh, capture it I store it into a local variable here uh, like underscore controller once the web view is created I'm going to load uh, the content from the local uh, folder or local HTML so this is how you do it you load the string and then uh, load uh, through using the controller you just load that whole uh, data into the uh, web view so this is what happens so once a web view once the web view gets created i'm going to load the contents from the html file into the web view and you can also track like when the page loading is finished so this is just to make sure that the url has been loaded properly then comes the main thing the javascript mode 
so like if you don't put this line javascript would be turned off so you should enable this to make sure uh, you have javascript uh, working so you should put like javascript node like unrestricted then comes the main thing like creating the javascript channel so you have seen like in the html page there are two functions called flutter and called flutter 2 so what you have seen here is you are posting a message and you have something here like post a script and print what are these these are like channels so we have to define that uh, channel in the flutter code so that uh, binding is being created so i have two channels defined here so message and i just gave two function names so what happens is you are creating a javascript channel here so here you can see a javascript cha uh, channel then the name print and when a message received you i'm just printing that data here so that is what you get here like when you call call flutter this is this message gets printed so here like message dot that message so here you can uh, do whatever processing that you need when this function or when this javascript uh, function get executed similarly uh, similarly i have another one the, this just another channel so here also the idea is the same you get uh, an on message received and just print it yeah right now for this uh, test purpose i'm just printing the message that uh, that is being sent from the function so here uh, you can see like i'm sending this message so it gets uh, printed over there so that's uh, that's the way how you interact from javascript to the flutter code like something happens in the javascript code and you want to let uh, flutter to uh, respond to that then this is how you should do it so this is from javascript to flutter okay and now uh, how to interact from flutter to javascript so i have this floating action button so on trust what i'm doing is i am using the controller and there is a function called evaluate javascript then you can call a function inside your javascript so you have seen that function which i have written called change image path and it takes in a parameter like path which path to load so here that is what i'm doing here so i am calling that function with the path parameter to load this uh, image which i found in the web so that's how it is so like let's say if you want to uh, call this function let's say left tapped so what you need to do is in the evaluate javascript you just need to do the exact same thing call this uh, call like this then the left tapped function will be executed yeah and that's all how it works so now we know like how to uh, make the flutter code talk to a javascript code inside a web view and vice versa so this comes in handy when you have interactive books or something like where in which you have uh, pages inside a web and you want native controls to manipulate the page uh, transitions so in that case you can use this kind of thing like uh, you can mix and match between the native controls and the web view so it's really really nice uh, feature i have similar thing uh, similar video which i have written for wk web view uh, which is used in swift so please have a look in that also i i will post the link to this in the description yeah uh, thanks for watching bye bye